Welcome back, guys. Hello. <laughs> Why do I s say hello like that? Welcome back. We have a special guest today. <laughs> Would you like to introduce yourself or do you want us to? Um, you guys can introduce me. He sounds like a little sniffle I got bear. allergies, though. <laughs> just a heads up, everybody. Um, He's got a little sniffle, so. I woke up. He sounds I don't like know, an I old grandpa. I've just been grandpa. sneezing the whole way up here. Kara told me it was a 20-minute drive. Turns out it's Dude, it 35. literally is not far. She's buying me Chipotle after this, though, so it's like, He's okay. like Venmo. He's like Apple Cash Pay. Cash wrap me. $10 more. Yeah, I need Dude. 10 more dollars. Be a homie. Just come. <laughs> it's yeah, hard. but I'm like broke. It was like. It's not that hard of a drive. I drive this all the time. Yeah, Me too. <laughs> it's literally not that bad. Okay, anyways, introduce me. Anyways, <laughs> this is yeah. the. If you know him, you love him. Or, or hate, him. hate him. No in between. <laughs> Omar! Omar. The Omar. The Omar. The Omar Compost. Stop, guys. <laughs> I feel like everyone knows him. I feel like you are a Provo icon. No, it's true. But yeah. <laughs> explain to me this. Everyone, what? Everyone in Provo knows you. You would agree, right? No, like. Yes. No, you have a lot of friends. Like when we'll you go, go out together, all three of us, and like you will say hi to like every single person. every single person. <laughs> you know it's true. Everyone knows who you are. No, I just yes, you do. You're just being humble. <laughs> oh, <God. I'm> like, <laughs> He's no, like, no. Yeah. The thing is, like, I just go with so many different groups, so then I meet so many different people, and then they're true. everywhere. But I want to say they're like my friends, like. But you just you know people because yeah, you, you like go to things and you introduce yourself. You're not like scared. Yeah. But we love that. I do have a question for you. How do you feel <laughs> that you didn't make the hundred? Oh, <laughs> the top one hundred of promo. That shit. That shit came out like a whole year and a half. Okay, so there was two. There's a BYU bar stool and then there's one from like the book of promo, and I didn't make any of them. <laughs> and that shit, like, I was pissed, low key, like. You were hating on me. Yeah, because no, of I it. was so mad. So you were really hating on me. I like, got bitched like, out by who Omar. Even knows her. Like, I'm confused. <laughs> Lily made it and you don't. How like, does that make you feel? You are feel less like, than Lily. Oh, it makes like, me feel you like, are nothing. <laughs> no, literally. That's how it makes me feel like nothing. Yeah. <laughs> I just remember how mad you were. You commented and made every one of your friends go comment. <laughs> Like, no, I didn't. And like, we were together. Like, that one night. thing about Carol is she don't talk like she knows what she's talking about. <laughs> she doesn't. I what happened? What I, I was just like I commented and I said, You guys must never heard of me. And then all my friends agreed. Because I have I an was army shocked. behind me. I, you like, do have an army. <laughs> honestly. <laughs> honestly, I thought you would be like top five. Like I would not put like the Eblings above guys, you. I, I hope oh, you know this is bold like statement. this is it's cringy. True, like, I wouldn't. I am like I don't take this serious at all. I just think it's an absolute joke. I just love to joke about it. Because at the end of the day, like, it doesn't matter, I feel like. True. Well, who it doesn't. Like, who it's made stupid. it? It's stupid. Like, some Because, like, there is some, I feel like there are some people that kind of, like, their ego gets boosted by that. Like, I can name so many of them in that list. I just, like, think they, like, are so much better than everyone. I'm like, bro. My ego got boosted. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. You changed. <laughs> You just changed since then. I, I am put I it in her bio and be like, yeah. I'm number 69, 69 yeah. on Provo's top 100. No, nah, it was like oh, uh, your dating apps just like say that or something. <laughs> yeah. She would Wait, why that. do you why do you think you made it? I know people. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. Bless you. We're going to have to cut it's that out. It's because her freshman year, you went to every party and talked to every person. Well, I feel like I know a lot TikTok of people. Famous. Well, like, I slowed down my TikTok around then. I just feel like you like you knew people they knew. Because I feel like I never were. knew about you until I actually met you. Like, no yeah. offense. Like, Well, that's okay. I didn't know about I, you until exactly. I met like, you. I feel yeah. like, like, I feel like it kind of just depends on what, like who you're rolling with kind of thing yeah i don't know how to explain it yeah and there's so many different groups in provo to where it's like you we could both be a part of like eight different groups and still never meet exactly no literally but, so like lily is popular with like guys i feel like <laughs> wow. you know, guys and girls you know what i mean wow. like, what do you mean by no, that? Like that yeah what do you mean by that kara <laughs> what do you mean yo yeah, you know shoot i don't know um uh, <laughs> But like me, like this, I'm, this, nobody knows she acts like she's not popular on guys too. 
Kara be acting like she knows everybody. Kara's more popular. No, Kara be acting like she knows everybody. But okay. like, it's like they match I'll with you on a, on a dating app. Like they don't that know, I know you, bro. That Omar knows, and he'll be like, "Don't act like you know them, bro." I'm like, "Okay, literally, you don't. They're none of my you friends. don't know them. Like that's the thing. <laughs> Just because you made out with them doesn't mean you know them. Like you met up with them once, you kissed no. them, and then that's it. Like you don't know them further than that." <laughs> Me. Like I'm, I'm like, I'm like oh, it. I'm gonna go hang out with my friends. And she's like, who are your friends? Who are your friends? I'm like, I'm not gonna tell you because then you're gonna go DM them and be a weirdo. Oh. Like, <laughs> when have I ever done that? I'm I've like, never I'm DM'd one guys. of your friends. <laughs> they hit me up, bro. Oh my gosh, none of they didn't. Bro. Don't Honestly, start name dropping. I have receipts, y'all. <laughs> pull them up. Yeah, pull okay. them up. Yeah, okay, yeah. I actually That's have crazy. kissed a lot of your friends. It's actually kind I know, of like, don't what, side two? Ivy. I don't know. Uh, Omar has too many friends. Omar, do you like the dating in Provo? No? Not like. Is it hard? Not really. I don't know. Like, I kind of just don't care about it. I feel like, like you I hit it, up I, my. Actually, I don't know if I should say this on here. Oh my gosh. No, I know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> so we could, we could talk about it. But Can we I talk about it? don't say their names. I, yeah, we don't say who, who it is. is. Call them, like, Vanilla. Because I know, I literally know who you're person talking about. Person who I will. Vanilla. Huh? Just say like vanilla. Uh, okay, well, I'm related to this person. Don't say that either. I just <laughs> <didn't know> <laughs> Maybe we'll cut so this weird. out. No, a lot of like. It's okay. Like, because I know I'm not like the hottest. Like, I'll put myself like a six or a seven. <laughs> so then I'll go for that. Oh, we're just right. <laughs> you know, I'll go for like a six and a seven, but they'd be acting like they're 12s. And it's like. It's because like. You're com- not, well, like, actually, do you want someone that's confident? Or no? Do you want them to think they're ugly? Well, I think a six or seven. Or they think they're ugly and then I'll just bring them up. Never. <laughs> Never. <laughs> I actually love Omar. Where do Omar, you get your confidence you. from, bro? I don't know. Like, like where does that really from? It feels weird. I hate like recording podcasts because I always feel like it's like a different like. I don't They're know. They're trying like, to get at your roots. We're like, no, Omar, no. where's your trauma from? <laughs> what was your childhood know, just... like? What's your relationship with your father? <laughs> like well, those do you questions? have daddy issues? <laughs> I just feel like everyone from Washington like is like me. Like everyone I went to high school with. Shout out to everyone from like my hometown. Like I fucking it's hate like you homies, guys. I love you. But like I think like we're all like we don't like we don't we've never like I don't think any of us ever cared about like how any of us look, how we talk, how we like how much money we have. Like we never cared about any of that. Mm-hmm. So I feel like that just gave us confidence to do whatever we ever wanted. Like. So is moving to Utah and Provo hard? Yeah, like weird adjustment. No, it was so, like I never thought like culture shock was like a real thing until I came down here. Like it was the weirdest like first eight months of my life. Like we're hella miserable here. Like I literally wanted to leave and die. And no, why'd you but, move here? School? Uh, why did I move here? Yeah. Yeah, school. I'm, I'm about to sneeze. <laughs> Oh my god. Bless you. It just like adds a little drama fest. Like, um, don't yeah, I moved here up. for school. I was going to WSU back home, so it was a big difference from going with like normal people that like just kinda Washington is so different than Utah. Yeah, like I feel like everyone likes everyone back in Washington and here everyone's just like trying to one up each other, like be cooler than them, have more That's... Instagram followers than them and it's Yeah. Like, literally no one cares Mm -hmm. it's like i came here and like girls try to keep their followers under a thousand like it's like the weirdest thing their followers or their following like following yeah following no that's yeah and they're like like, yeah like i had to have a thousand or less like bro i've never cared about that weird bro like i seen this girl's like uh, instagram followers like or following go from because i followed her she followed me back click on it and it's like at like 980 and I like look back on her Instagram like two weeks later because she posted a story, and it's down at like seven hundred. I'm like, what? Like she just went through and I unfollowed everyone. <laughs> oh my gosh. So do you think but. people be friends with you just because like you're low key TikTok famous? Oh my gosh, you're so cringy. Don't ever. Bro, you are. <laughs> no, I was. Okay, I'm so why you, so you stop? I'm actually curious. I, feel like I you still do this. it. You make me film no. for you sometimes. Do you make me feel what? Film for you sometimes. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. You still like, on TikTok? It's just, in for Vegas, it's just for the drafts. It's just for the drafts. You just drafts. save it? Yeah, it's just for the, for the drafts. Why don't you come back? Like, Shabami. I don't have my boy John with me, bro. Like, that's my guy. You so. guys did it together. Yeah. Is he a Washington boy? No, he just got married. Yeah, he just got married. He's from Sandy. He was my neighbor two years ago. Oh. So, like, that's my guy. They were like this. Cute. We still are. We still are. We're still like this. You 
you're just his best man. We're like this, and then there's like Paris right there. That's <laughs> <laughs> oh, his wife. Yeah, I just stopped though because like he kind of stopped doing it too, and I just like didn't want to do it alone. But I kind of uh-huh. want to get back on like I kind of want to get back on it and just do like gym stuff. I could see that. I don't know if I can back the gym TikTok. Why? It makes me cringe because <laughs> really, the guys will that, like I get what you're saying. I do get what you're saying. And they'll be like. Wow. Yeah, okay. no, I I do like see that. I could see uh, all being like, like the funny. I want to just like I want to record like on my way to the gym, like yelling and like what I'm gonna eat, and then like get to the gym and just record my workout, and then just like I, I honestly don't even like be flexing like that. Like I feel like you would clown on people. Like I don't even be flexing. Like I literally just go to the gym for fun, and I think it's become a hobby. So now I just want to. Yeah, you want to share your hobby. Yeah. I actually like that. Sometimes I cringe because I know, do like, get what you're saying though. Like uh, I could, yeah. I, I could 100 percent like the motherfuckers boys. be so cringy. Dude. Yeah, like, it's like, all right, buddy, pipe down. And like, they're all you're, you're literally at a commercial accent. gym. Like you're not at a private gym. Like I guess like if it was a private gym, like that's valid. But it's like you're literally at Boston, bro. <laughs> There's University still people Boston. that do it at Boston though. They like transfer oh to God. EOS to do it. Oh yeah, you sniff. I'm you like, sniffle, I'm boy. dying. I don't even know what's going on, guys. <laughs> we don't have tissues in here either. Oh, we should have got some. Yeah, oh, well, well, that's kind of like the scoop for me. I'm from Washington. Um, I go to UVU. You're going back to school? I thought you were. Yeah, I pause. am. No, I did. I took I took a pause this last semester, and it was horrible. I hated it. I love school so much. And what are you studying? Sarcastic, sarcastic accounting. <laughs> Oh, that's oh, the class. Awful. <laughs> yes, I know. It sucks, but it's okay. It'll that's be fun. Sad. Dang. I just Dang. hope to be famous one day. I don't really want to go get a I job. I could see you being famous, though. That's why it like, surprises me that you're stopping the TikTok because that's just like so Omar. Like, when you think Omar, you're just like, oh, yeah. I feel like this is a really narcissistic <laughs> like, show for me. Wait I feel think. like all we're doing is talking about me. Like, Well, that's the point of having you on. Yeah, we want to like come and in interview you. you. Yeah. We're not going to have you like interview us. You already know us. Like, yeah, unless there's a topic you want to talk about. <laughs> yeah, unless you have a question you want to ask us. No, but no, that's no. not really how that works. We're getting Chipotle after. Uh, that's uh, the real <laughs> quick. Guys, my favorite food is just Chipotle. Like, the things I would do to Chipotle and... <laughs> things I would do. I feel like, like we need to like cue the romantic music right no, now yeah. <laughs> oh my God. and just slow chipotle. zoom on yes. Omar. Like as Kara, I think I eat Chipotle. Like when I when I'm like up right now, I'm kind of down. I eat Chipotle like once or twice a day. Like we like, actually go to Chipotle a day. Omar and I yeah, go literally like once a week. Twice together. a day. Like there's somebody where I eat it for lunch and then I'm like, all right, I need dinner. Like, I this don't is why cook. you have negative money. Yeah, this is why I'm really so broke because I eat out so much. <laughs> He's like, the no me yet. <laughs> but that's honestly just kind of, I mean, I always go out to eat just because it's a fun way to hang out with my friends. Exactly. Or it's yeah. Just yeah. Easier. I feel like really out here, like eating out is like a social thing. Like no it's one like an really, activity. I feel like back home, no one really like be eating out like, like we do here. Really? Like we just be going to like, if we want to hang out, we'll go like to someone's like, big like shop and just hang out and play like whatever games are there. like a coffee shop no like a shop like a literal like farm shop you know what i'm saying like i don't know like how to explain it like it's the house and there's like a shop in the back you guys never heard of that no everyone's gonna know what i'm talking about these people are stupid <laughs> wait, wait, wait i've seen those in washington but like I, barns shops like i've never seen the barns ones like, just like I've a little seen the second house, house. Shops. yeah there you and go like, they, a, like, like a little up, second yeah, house like, they like yeah. live there but that's not what people do here like it's like oh like can we hang out let's grab lunch like let's catch up like yeah and you have to like buy food like we just went to lunch with our friend on monday just to catch up i just feel like a mom up. that's what moms do go get lunch Oh, yeah, when you ignored but. me because I wanted to go and then she didn't want me to go, so she ignored me. Oh, yeah. he was like, Oh, you wanted to come? You wanted yeah. to come to lunch with us? Well, just so Kara can pay for me. Oh, yeah. right, right. <laughs> all the time. He literally munches right. off of my money. <gasps> so I'm such a great friend. You are. I know. Look at you. My love language is literally just food and then find my friends. <laughs> That's all I care about. I find like my that. friends kind of scares me. I, yeah, it literally gives, like, kind of, like, shady. Well, it's because like if my friends are like, give it. no, I wouldn't give it. Why? You're because weird. Because what she if doesn't. like... She you're so to, weird, bro. Carrie, you can have mine. Is. Oh, I can have it? Yeah. That's cute. Because the girls can... The close girls can have it. I feel like I don't you even... You can really have like, it. I keep yeah. saying like... Omar has mine. But like, I don't really like... 
I honestly don't even be checking it like that. Like, I'm not like, oh my gosh, I wonder what this person's doing right now. Like, it, it, it with like, but that's how some people are. With the girl, that's true. That is true. I feel like girls are different. Like for me, like literally, if I'm gonna text Kara, I'll check where she's at first and then text her. If uh, I see like she's not at home at the gym, like I'm not gonna text her. Like, uh, if no I see sense. her, like if I see her driving, I'm like, okay, she's busy, busy. or she's going home because she's always going home. <laughs> Um, it's facts though I'm but I do get what you're saying like, I feel like girls will be like oh I wonder where Lily's at now like why is she at this random house I get yeah it's that. like oh she's not no, responding high, to me in and high school we had fr- I had friends like guy friends that would pull up on their homies their, use their locations when they would go make out with a girl and like scare them or scare the car see that's such a like, like that's a that's U- happened oh no it's a Utah thing yeah, for sure. yeah like, that's happened to me before like I've, I've had my friends like locations from back home and I've never once like I, I put this on my mother. I've never once like just pulled up on it like to be a creep. That's weird. Like, like why I've would never you want to do that? that? Like, that's so weird. That's like kind but of but people an do movie. Like move. You're like messing up the homie's opportunity to like to get some cheddar. Yeah, but, I get <laughs> to get some cheddar. I am so hungry. Cheddar, right now. bro. What? But what kind of word is that? Well, maybe not cheddar. <laughs> word of the day. <laughs> cheddar. Like it's just like you gotta get your cheddar. You know what I'm saying? I've but, never heard that in, ever. Why would anyone say that? Guys, I'm so fake. I've been talking mad shit about Lily and Kara for like the past like week about their podcast. And now, well, and I'm now look <laughs> where he is. Look where he is. There was people How that came up to turn. me that I was like, there's no way they would know about my podcast because they're not friends with me. They don't follow me on social media <laughs> or anything. And I'm like, they know Omar. They and found Omar out from Omar. Shit. They're talking crap. <laughs> I know I'm I'm like mad fake for this. Right he's, now. A, he's a it's just like a little fun. It's for a plot, you know. You're like that though. You'll say something about someone behind their back, and then like she you really see them, and like oh, we best friends, we twins for real, like nah. all lifers, brothers. I don't even be talking shit like on some real shit. Like I just be like trolling. Like uh, I don't really like like the whole time. I would just shit, I, feel I would like just like I would, honestly I've never I, like when I was making fun of this, I was not making fun of Lily. I was just making fun of Kara mostly uh, uh, and M. Because, like, Lily is, like, my slime, you know? Yeah. Lily's Before life. I feel like I would never make fun of Lily because, like, we get, like, like we're locked in like this. Like, right. if you know, you know. Yeah. If you like, know, you know. <laughs> and if you don't, you don't. See, he says this, but Omar misses me. He loves no, me. Like, He'll text me to go to dinner. <laughs> he asks me to go to the gym. He'll miss me. Like, yeah, aww. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, Omar. Sniffle ASMR. See, he's, like, bold and up front. And, like, <laughs> 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 Oh He's bold enough like, front with you at, at first. You need tissue? Yeah, hella bad. Yeah, That's I ain't got one, bro. I'll, I'll just deal with it, I guess. It's okay. We're, you got it. What were you saying? We're almost done. You're like that. You're like bold up front and honest, but I feel like you like hide your deep sensitive part because we've had like deep conversations no, but you would never we're not <laughs> you like would that. never tell <laughs> anyone you would rather like die in a hole than tell anyone that. Yeah. No, I don't just... I'm just like I like to troll, like trolling. Is, fuck, I'm sorry. Trolling is just like my thing. Like, I would, I at the end of the day, like if Carol was getting stabbed, like uh, I will. You like, would consider. I, I, I will consider that, like I maybe consider. saving her. I love that it has know? to take me getting stabbed <laughs> for him to be like, oh no, should I help her? I'll like help you if you buy me lunch. If you like, buy me Chipotle. If, if you give me a Chipotle gift card, and then maybe I'll like, pick you up. <laughs> He's like, what's your bank account number? Then I'll take you to the hospital. Oh, like, what's your password? I need Apple, Apple Cash myself. No, for real, you would. See, um, that's so messed up. Except I know, like, even when you were in a relationship, you probably were, like, so sensitive and so, like, a sweetheart and gentleman. But then when you were around people, you are probably, like, like... This bitch, like I hate her, like she's horrible. And Mommy then you'd get bad. home, you'd be like, she's sick. You'd be like, I love you, baby. Like you're the best girl in the world. Start baby talking, like, yeah. oh my lord, come on, you know you like that. Like you're Every- totally that guy that like, like needs his girl to like love him and like. He's the little spoon. He's the little spoon. He's the little spoon. <laughs> do like the little spoon. I definitely do need affirmations though, like from a girl. Like I'd be like, if this bitch doesn't tell me I'm the best thing in the world. Do you need that then she's gone. Yeah. Do you need that from your friends too? No, fuck no. I don't give a shit about anything. Just from girls? Can I it be like a person. random girl from like Tinder? Or does it have to be like a special girl? Yeah, no, I love situationships. Like I feel like there's so You fun. do? Yeah. 
Like it's always like. When was ooh, the last like, time you had one? Like, well, I have, I have like a really ongoing one with someone from back home. Some people mm. don't even know this as I'm bringing it up. But like, for example, like, it was so weird because she like, she un, she like removed me on followers on Instagram and unadded me on Snapchat. And I thought about her like two weeks ago, right? I thought about her two weeks ago. I was like, I wonder how she's doing. Like, where's she at? And then like literally three days ago, I like so one of my friends like tagged her on something. So I click on her Instagram account and she's private. So I can't really go through it. And I'm like, and I just like thought about her like more. I was like, wow, like what? I wonder what she. I have not heard from this girl in so long, and she literally snapped me yesterday. <gasps> it was a weird like. Omar pulls hose. Look at this, bro. And Wait, it's like, so she re-added you? No, the thing is, she didn't even add me. What? Like it's still like the plus. What? Yeah. So she like possible? removed me, and then just like, and she said she snapped me. She said, "Hey," and I said, "What's up?" Question mark. It didn't say anything. You texting here again? Yeah. The sneeze is coming. I can <laughs> tell. Oh, <the laughs> ma- All right, guys. My bad, bro. <laughs> I've been dying. We're back. We're back. It's totally We're my back. fault. I'm sorry, guys. Don't apologize. What did we leave on? Provo sucks. Just Provo. Provo sucks. Just kidding. We He's, love Provo. We love Provo. obsessed with Provo, bro. Bro, that's all. So we have a podcast show. about it. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think we're supposed to talk about? He's like, don't talk about Provo. Don't lean into that. Like that's literally. Like He's like, don't of- don't try to talk about Provo too much. It's not funny. That's literally I'm like, our <laughs> show. Do you <laughs> right? Do you no, understand our, our name right. of our show? All right, my bad, guys. <laughs> I'm just trying to give you guys advice. <gasps> Please, we actually need the advice. <laughs> no, we don't. No, this we're is gonna make it pretty big. fun. Like I feel like it was really flowing, good. Good. We can talk about everything. Do you have any last good stories you want to share? Or? What's your least favorite part about Utah? Uh, and your most favorite part. Okay, oh. the people and then the people. Wait, the people and the people. That's that honestly really, really good. Like, that makes no sense. Because, like, I, no, I, like, I absolutely, like, just dislike some people. And then, like, my other friends that I'm really close with, like, that are, like, in my friend group sorry <laughs> like i love them and i would die for them and i would do anything for them oh but like anyone else i'm like i don't like you we and give you a lot of hate to the people but in hell but there is like a lot a lot of good people that's the thing like like and we we talk a lot of shit on the people in provo but like at the there's end of the, so yeah, many like, fun people like i think there's like 82 percent good people 82 honestly <laughs> we're getting good ranking. statistic yeah like there's like 82 85 percent good people and then the rest are just like those like Weirdos. overly obsessed with themselves like and it's mostly just like uh, I, was, I was gonna say it's mostly just the women but it's both honestly it's both yeah like it's, it's equally both. both like and you like the second you meet someone you can see where they fall into there is a, a yeah, there is a radar. it's easy to like, tell. I can literally like I can meet someone. I can be like, okay, this person like I literally know, like I have category categories in my mind with like valid or non valid people. Like dead serious. I feel like you're nicer when you don't like them. Like you're nice to the person you don't like. No, he's pretty like, nice to me. That's why I'm I know, like you're, he's that's pretty why I know nice Cara to me. Know me. Like, the thing is like with me like if I don't like you, I'm not gonna talk to you. Go up to you or, like even. Well, yeah, kind of like, but, like, when you first meet with someone, you're still nice. Like, people think, like, oh, Omar's so mean. But, like, when he first introduces himself, he's not going to be, like, screw you. Like, you're actually nice. Like, people yeah. think you're so, like, mean and so rude. But you're actually rude. a genuinely nice person. You just can't let people, like, I know. The one thing about you. me, you're going to hear a lot of things about me. But, like, you're going to hear them from people that don't even know me. Like, they met me once or twice. Like, that's those are the people that talk the most shit about me. It's like someone that I met like once or twice, and then they go off of like what they think, and it's like, one oh. interaction yeah, it's like, and start making assumptions. Yeah, about or it. they start hearing things from other people, and it's like, bro, like you, like come hang out with me for a week, bro. You're gonna see like Omar's probably one of the funniest pr- like, people I've met in my that, life. Like, everyone thinks I am, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Prove them wrong. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Do you know how Omar and I met? Yeah, you were on a date. Yeah. Not with I Omar, would, though. Yeah, not on a date. I would like, never I would ne- have... I would never scoop that low to go on a date with Carol. <laughs> like, Excuse I'm kidding, I'm kidding. me. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But I same, I would go. never go on a date with Omar. <laughs> yeah, I'm too good for you. You know that. Oh. 
you go yeah, with people. I'm sure. not contributing to this conversation. <laughs> Omar and I will have a love-hate relationship, but it's fine. The Can tension. Oh, oh my gosh, my hair, guys. <laughs> guys, my hair is the so The bleach ugly. hair. I feel like that's also a very Utah-esque thing is everyone, everyone freaking bleaches the their hair. Their hair the exact same. Yep. He leaned into it. Hey, I've been doing this for a while, though. Like, you can ask my, my boy Nate Saldana. That was my day one. Like, me and him have He's shouting out to people. <laughs> Giving hey, all shout the shout out to like, my out mama. Zeus, I shout love out, you. Um, Zach, shout out Giselle. <laughs> shout out <laughs> Cheyenne. Shout out Audi. Shouting <laughs> out to. I don't even know these Shout people. out Vito. Vito. Um, yeah. Lily and I just start like, shout out. My mom, I love you. Like, hey, shout you out, have? mom. I love you. <laughs> You guys have any other questions for me or what? I don't think, I think that's so. about it. Do you I'm so help? glad you came on. I though. Like I should, we should. De- hey guys, if you guys want me to be a co-host, cut this in the in the front. By the way, if you guys want me to be a co-host, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, we right. definitely won't cut this in the front. I'm literally, like the best thing that can ever happen to these girls. When bold statement. That was when I asked, bold statement. That, yeah, that before really this show I even happened, kidding. I asked Omar first to be on the podcast. Yeah, I think before me. <laughs> I did. You're yeah. Right. yeah she, well, because like first of all, like I was like I didn't know. I thought I honestly thought you wanted us to like buy a whole thing and all this, and I was like, no, like it's harder than that. It's so hard. No. So now we're I, lucky. Like, we're look lucky. Look at all this, bro. Like this is all fine. I know, and we have like producer editing and uh, everything. Like shout out Devil Media. Love we love them. you. <laughs> but like. Omar just sent me like emojis and he laughed. He was like, no way, bro. He's like, absolutely not. <laughs> but it's time for the word, word of, of the <laughs> week. Lily's the boy. I love this part. I can't. So this week is more of like a category of words that we are just calling filler words. Filler words. And essentially you just use these words to replace swear words. That's what people do in Utah because they don't swear. Yeah. I feel like it was a lot more in high school I used them. Same. Like frick, shiz, fudge. fudge. Have you seen it? Fetch. Fetch. Have you seen the videos of like people walking around BYU campus and they'll like ask a BYU student like, oh, what's your favorite swear word? And they're like, fudge. Guys, like, one no, time, they don't, they don't, they don't actually about that. do that. No, no, they do. No, they so, do. One time... Me and me and John were on campus, BYU campus, and we were recording videos. And I dropped the mic, and I was like, it was just like a normal like. I was like, fuck, because I thought I broke it. And I was like, fuck. And there was a guy next to me. He was he was like passing me as I say this. And he's like, hey man, can you please not cuss? <laughs> and I was like, shut the hell up! Like you're 28 years old, you're balding, you have no oh. hair. Like there's n- like why do you think you tell me what like? For me, I can't. That's hilarious. Just, it was like I know I shouldn't like be cussing like, uh, like I feel like there's an extent to cussing, you know. There's a time and a place. Exactly. There you go. Yeah. And like for you to be like a grown ass man to then tell me not to cuss because like you're sensitive to it or whatever. Well, like, mind your business. You it's can. Okay. Like for me, I feel like cussing is like part of my personality. Like I don't know about you, but I've literally had someone not date me because I swear. Like, wow. they told me they wouldn't want to be some be with a girl that swears. Like, no, guys can swear, but girls can't. And I like, remember that. It's just messed up. Like, Provo in general, they're just like, oh, like, swearing's uh, bad. And a lot of people do swear, but. Well, I just think it's, like, when you use it. Because it's, like, I don't swear that often, but, like, it's in my vocab. Yeah. <laughs> for sure. Uh, yeah, I try not to, honestly, because I feel like. I feel like when I was younger, it was like, okay, but now I'm kind of like getting to a point where I need to be like more professional because like, yeah. you never know who you're around. Exactly. Especially in Utah, like you could be around a millionaire, bro. Like, uh, I bet millionaires swear. Yeah, I know, but yeah, they wouldn't want to like. But it's like, like if like, you, you just sound a little bit more trashy and like exactly. childish. Exactly. I feel like it is like, yeah, trashy and childish and just like immature. It's like, the my way friend back you home talk. Was like, yeah, my friend back home was talking about it. He's like. I kind of hate cussing now. Like, yeah, we do cuss a lot still, but it's like, if I feel like it just like brings our like level down like a couple notches, just because like mm-hmm. they're like, so ghetto. Like, and I feel like that too, because like I'm such a hypocrite, because like I'll like hear someone cuss out in public, I'm like, that's so ghetto. I feel like <laughs> yeah. I would, I, feel like <laughs> I, would, I, I would just never Omar cuss. Turns around and he's like, he's like, screw. <laughs> like, yeah. I just would never cuss out loud like that. Like at a mall, at a like restaurant, yeah. I would never just be like. 
like yeah that's ghetto like there's kids around there's families around like keep it I feel like that's keep like, it on the down low yeah, mm-hmm. and i mm-hmm. would never cuss in front of parents either yeah yeah i don't it's care just, how like there's like there's no i'll have good conversations mom. with my parents and a cuss word will will come out. i see like Slip. no like well like in my family like swearing is just like if my family's listening to this but like swearing is like no no like especially on my like dad side because my mom's italian so swearing on that side is like every <laughs> single word it comes out but my dad's side if you swear like you're going to hell like it's just <laughs> it's just not a thing yeah but i think you do what you want to do you're not going to be judged but you be probably will be judged, yeah. but not by us. But, like, be respectful yeah. of who you're with. If they don't like swearing, keep it in a little bit, but, like, still be you. If you want to slip a little, like, if you're going to... Real. Yeah. Like, respectfully... Yeah. No, if, I feel that, though. If you're going to, like, stub your toe on something or get hurt, like, I'm not going to be like, oh, dang it. It's like, <laughs> I'm going to swear. Oh, frick. Like, oh, frick. it, it oh, hurts. Frick. Yeah. I used to be on fetch heavy because like my fetch. my best fetch is friends like I I respect them because they don't cuss but I'll never like make them cuss but like they're always like fetch fetch like there was one time my friend like she got towed and I did not hear this like I have so much respect for this kid <laughs> he did not cuss one time I know exactly he was like who's like fetch like shiz a fetch like I'm so stupid I'm so fetching stupid I'm like, <laughs> bro if the, if I was in your shoes right now I best believe I would be like. Every single swear Sorry, like a sailor. Then he, said oh. then he said something like that was kind of like deep. He was like, because I, I brought that up like later on. I was like, dude, like you did not say a single bad word. He's like, he's like, well, it sounds weird when I cuss. And then also it's like, it's not going to change anything. I was like, wow. Okay. I was like, wow. That was real wow. as fuck. Like that was so like real. I mean, honestly, it doesn't. Like swearing at people, like even when you're driving, like they cut you off. Okay, you swear at them, you get mad at them. What does it change? Like you don't know. You don't feel any going. better. They could be cutting you off and like going to the hospital or like you don't like you don't know the situation and like swearing about it doesn't do anything. But like sometimes it's more for like the shock factor. <laughs> I like it just because it like sounds fun. <laughs> I mean, really I know that's probably not a good thing. Like, but. it's like a sailor's mouth. But, like, <laughs> I've tried to be better at it, but it's still hard. I also just feel like kind of depends where you, like, who you grew up with and who you Exactly, with. who you're Because, like, my first word is probably, like, the F word. The, uh, like, your first. Like, he like, comes out the like, room. I've been he cussing. Out the a- room. <laughs> and I'm not proud of it, but it's just, like, who, like, how I was raised. And, like, I, I think I've been cussing since I was, like, literally, like, in first grade. Like, probably even before But that. that's See, just where Utah, you grew up. You tell you do not swear. I did not learn. A single swear word. Until Probably until I was middle in high school. school. No, I did not swear until I was a freshman. Okay, like, I didn't s- swear, but like I didn't even know cuss words. Okay, yeah. Until I learned. That's that's what's like fucking middle crazy. School. Look at these. Like I didn't know this. I didn't know the c word. I'm not kidding you. Until, until high school. no, until oh. I was a senior. Because <laughs> someone said it to me, and I was like, "What's that?" And they were like, "You really don't know what that is." Someone said I, it to you. Yes. I was like, "Is that mean or is that like nice?" And they're like, "Oh, honey." You're like, you have a lot to learn. Yeah, I have a lot to learn. I was just like the yeah. innocent little high school girl. Will you guys ever raise your kids here? Like, do you think you're going to want to settle here? I don't want to. Absolutely not. I feel like I like the way I grew up. Like, growing up in Washington, I feel like it gave me perspective on life and gave me that different, like, part of the atmosphere that Utah didn't. I didn't grow up in the bubble. Yeah. I got to, like, experience the different culture and not judging people. And then I moved to Utah halfway through. So I got to experience like the goodness of other people and like still not be corrupt. So I like the both. I think I would raise my kids. Like I was raised like yeah. in between, like I like that. Go, yeah. go to a different state, but then move back. So yeah. they don't like go crazy. Growing up here. I did really like, like I think Utah does a good job at like creating community. Mm-hmm. Cause like, I always felt like I was a part of something bigger and like I Aww. had, it was cute. It That's was like adorable. fun. It was really fun. And I really did like that, but I don't know. I, I I don't know if it's like just me being selfish and like, oh, I don't want to raise a family here because I've been here for too long. Or if I actually like wouldn't want to raise a family, raise a family here. But like at the same time, at the end of the day, it's like where your spouse is working. And like, Lily, I just noticed I haven't seen you in like months. Uh, I know it's kind of like, sad. I was like, so I you talking. You. I was like, <laughs> so random. Yeah, I was like, I, kinda, I have not because I I kind of went from seeing you. I would see you like a good twice a month. Like yeah, three, three 
Dude, like every month. other week? Yeah, every other yeah. week I would see you. Guys are so random. And then I was like, <laughs> I didn't see you for like two, three months. That's kind of sad. You've been hanging out with my roommate. I know. I love her. They're so funny. They're so fun. Oh, shout out to them. You yeah. know shout who you are. I don't know if you want to like, wanna, like name drop some people. I know. That's I'm like, I don't know if they want to be name drop. So like shout out to them. Like, they know shout out to them. You know who you are. We love you. Um, <laughs> that's why I name drop sometimes no. because I'm like, they're not going to listen. I don't like True. They're not, yeah, not going to listen. <laughs> no, but I feel that. I get what you're saying. Like, I don't know. Like, I told myself, like, if I'm going to stay in Utah, I'm only going to stay in one city. It'll be like Morgan, Utah, or Mountain Green, Utah. I like that. That's Morgan. so random. Morgan is so pretty. You do or we're like Morgan. To, or we're going Stop. to Dallas, Texas. I want to go to Dallas, Texas. That's it. I, I think Texas would be a good place to like settle for yeah. sure. I could not do the cockroaches. Ew. Okay, never mind. Maybe. <laughs> Bless, Bless you. you. I like Utah, but I just. I think I, I would be it. able to do place, it my, whole, my yeah. whole life. It is very pretty. It is a very beautiful place. The people are very good people. Yeah, I feel like if but I didn't move here. everywhere you go, there's good people. Yeah, I feel like if I didn't move here, I wouldn't be exactly where I'm at, though. So that's, like, the Aww. shout out I give to you, Tom. Because, mm. like, like, everyone here is so driven, and that kind of just makes you even want to be better. Like, that's really true. Not, like, in a comparison or a comp- com- competition way. It's just like, oh, let me get my shit together. Mm-hmm. This person's doing it. I need to do it, too. That's yeah. That's, like, wholesome. Yeah. I like that. Right. I think Please, you. Yeah. Anyway, let's that end on that note. A wholesome note. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for coming on, Omar. Um, too. Up. <laughs> I'm gonna be here again, though. No cap. Oh, don't. He loved if it. If you want he Omar to come back, please let us know. He loved it so much, didn't you? Guys, okay. Uh, after this, actually, I'll just talk to you guys after this. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll see you guys. See you next, next week. week. What was the word?